Hey angels, what's up? It's your girl Alicia and I'm coming to you today with another video. In this video today, I'm going to be telling you guys why you should not join a network. I'm going to be sharing with you guys my experience with my network and I'm going to be giving you all of the facts of why you shouldn't join a network and I'm going to also be telling you what it is that you can do without joining a network so if this just sounds like something that you want to check out then let's just dive right into this video I have some notes here so if you guys see me looking down or glancing that's all it is I know you decided to click on this video because one you are a YouTuber and you are thinking about signing with a network. Maybe some networks have reached out to you or you're a YouTuber and you're just curious of whether or not what it's like to be with a network and whether it's not as beneficial. Well, I'm going to make sure I try to answer all of your questions today. So first and foremost, you guys know that I signed with Style Hall last year and there is a video on my channel where i was all excited about joining the network and everything like that well i just got out of my contract july 5th so now i am able to tell you guys how my experience was and going into the contract i knew what i was kind of getting into i knew that it was a contract and i knew that this was either going to go one or two ways either this was going to be great and this was going to be a good thing or this was going to be bad and things was going to go sour quickly so i convinced myself that okay if i can get a short contract term then i would do it so initially when they reached out to me you know everything sounded good they sounded like they really wanted to work with me everything like that no problem this is probably the email that you guys hear that they send to the same people and probably change your name i'm not sure but when they wanted to do the contract they wanted to do two or three years or so and i asked could i negotiate to do a year and if things went great then i would extend it so i kind of made myself a guinea pig just so i could be able to bring this information to y'all because y'all know that's how much i love y'all like i'm just gonna sacrifice myself for y'all right right so i signed the contract and i just took it as a learning experience so already starting out, you guys know that they will send you an email and they will ask you, would you like to be a part of their network? I know you also have the option of reaching out to them and asking, can you join the network? You will either be approved or they will tell you no, that they don't want you a part of their network. They will 100% most definitely reach out to you through email if you guys are wondering where they will be reaching out to you at. Okay, so let's first look at what are the things that they are going to promise you. They're going to promise you several different things, such as they're going to promise you copyright free music. They're going to promise you special groups and forums that they can add you to so that you can be able to collaborate with different people within your network. They're going to promise to promote you and help you grow your channel and increase your revenue. And they're going to promise you that they're going to help you get PR deals and get different sponsorships so you can work with different brands and things of that sort. Now, is this true? What did they actually do? I can say that they actually did invite me to events. I was invited to maybe three or four events for free. They gave me the tickets. I went, my name was on the list. Everything went fine, smoothly. I loved it. I would say that they did add me to different groups and forums like different facebook groups different groups that they had and stuff like that that they had for their community within the network that was fine that was an awesome way to share our videos an awesome way to collaborate and just work with different people within your network it's an awesome way to grow your channel in that sense they did offer me um a source a source a way to get music a way to get copyright free music but it wasn't free you had to pay like a membership fee of like $15 a month I believe so that's that in regards to channel promotion I think they may have promoted my channel one time on Twitter like shared a video or something other than that no promotion okay money in terms of the money 
I'm just going to let you guys know that you get paid based off of the ads that are placed on your video. Now keep in mind, YouTube is already going to get their cut, their 40-45%, whatever it is. YouTube gets their cut and you get your cut. Now by you signing to a network, you're adding a middleman in the mix. So now YouTube gets their cut, your network gets their cut, and they send you whatever's left. So I don't know if I can discuss what my percentage was. But let's just say 40, 40 from YouTube, 40 from them, and then I get 20. Um, does it make sense to you guys? Okay, follow me. Follow me along this journey. Now, in terms of money, you normally with YouTube, you get paid at the end of the month, normally around the 25th. When you're signed with a network, you don't receive your money right away. You receive your money like a month after. So it's weird. It's like you're getting paid way later than you would be getting paid if you was just partnered with YouTube. And who wants to get their money late? Like when you work, you want your money straight up off the top. Your payment options. You have an option of being paid via check which they will send it in the mail or you can set up direct deposit if you guys were wondering in regards to a manager okay so they will say that you have a personal manager which to me wasn't a personal manager i would say it was more like a customer service representative because that's the person that you email and they will actually be responsible for taking a look at your contract or any questions that you have they will be responsible for answering those questions and replying to your email you hear me talking, so you know I'm filming. So why are you doing that? I only gave you a package. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, that's the school uniform. Okay. I'll see you when I come out, okay? Okay. So this person actually has access to your file, and they're, they're in control of basically asking all your questions. Do they really do any managing? No. I want to let you guys know to make sure that you read over your contract very thoroughly. Go to your mom, your sister, somebody that you trust. Have somebody that's used to dealing with contracts read over it. It's a lot of small print. It is a very long contract. And you could miss a lot of important details on this contract. Understand that it is a contract. You're signing your name and your rights over to this network. So if something just seems like it's not working for you, you can't just say the next day, oh, I'm so done with this and I'm just over it and I want out. You can't do that, you're in a contract. So just be sure about what it is that you're signing. Also keep in mind within a contract, there is going to be a term is going to tell you that this contract lasts two years, three years, whatever the case may be. It will also tell you how many days prior to your contract being up that you have to inform your network that you no longer want to be with them. If you don't do it within that time frame that they allowed it for you to do, they will automatically renew your contract. So that's not good if, you're, if you don't want to be in your contract. Normally, I believe it's like 30 to 60 days you have to let them know ahead of time if you don't want to be in your contract and it has to be a written email that you have to send to them and tell them like i no longer want to be with you guys anymore okay another important thing that i want to mention is that once you're released from your contract all of your videos will be demonetized they never informed me of this i kind of just found out once um i was released from my contract all of my videos were demonetized and i had to go through the process of being approved to be partnered with YouTube again and I had to monetize my channel all over again. I'm going to be honest with you guys, while you're in this network, they are not going to reach out to you. They're not gonna see how your contract is going. They're not going to ask you, are you okay? Are you satisfied? Is there anything else that they can do for you? They're not going to do any of that. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to them through email. They may or may not reply. In my situation, they always reply. Did they reply in a timely manner? No. So sometimes you might be waiting a week to get a reply back to an email. 
they only cater to the big YouTubers, guys. And they pick and choose which big big YouTubers they want to cater to. Because I've heard of several experiences where even as a bigger channel, they still didn't cater to them or promote their channel. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about making your decision. This video is not to tell you what to do. This video is to tell you what my experience is and what I'm suggesting you not to do, but I cannot force you to do anything. So don't think that I'm trying to stop any of you from experiencing anything. I went through this and it was an experience. It was an awesome experience. I don't regret any of it. I won't say that Style Hall is a bad network. I won't say that at all. I will just say that everything that I was promised, I didn't get from them. I will also say that I did everything on my own. I can also be honest and say that my network was not the reason why I've seen growth on YouTube thus far. I will be honest about that and say that. In conclusion, do not sign to a YouTube network. They have a goal to get as many channels as they can sign to their network so they can create for themselves a residual income for those of you who don't know what a residual income is is a income that is coming back to back to back over time it is already set up to come so they are just trying to have that financial security for themselves it benefits them more than it benefits you the things that they are promising you within these networks, you will end up doing it all by yourself. 100%, I can tell you that. And I am going to make sure that I make a separate video. I'm going to be telling you guys how you can grow your channel. Um, I'm going to be giving you suggestions for copyright music, how you can promote your videos how you can get PR deals and sponsorships, how you can make money on YouTube. I'm going to make sure I come and I bring you some more informative videos. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, please comment down below and let me know what it is that you guys want because I have no problem with sharing my tips and tricks with you guys. In any event, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys take heed to my experience. Again, it wasn't a bad experience. It was a lesson learned. Let's just say that. Um, it was an awesome experience to be able to bring it back to you guys so maybe you guys don't have to make the same mistake and just give your money away and don't really get much in return. I'm going to end this video with saying would I ever sign back to a network again? I don't want to say no. I don't want to say no because there's some people that's having awesome experiences with it. But I would say if I ever sign to a network again, this contract would have to be so detailed, whereas though I'm actually putting input into the contract. I'm telling them what it is I need for them to do for me and what it is that I expect from them. So once everything is signed, if there's any problem or if they're not doing anything that me and the network agreed that they would do, I would wholeheartedly go to a lawyer and take action. So, if I ever sign to a network again, you guys will know. I will make sure I tell you guys. I tell you guys almost everything. But that is the end of this video. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. But always remember the secret to success. Put God first. Always be determined, and consistency is key. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, angels.